I'm back. So I've just got the car loaded. I didn't have to bring the, the moon bucket. I just bring part of me with me, you know, on the moon. Uh, it's a harvest moon. I do believe that August the 20th is definitely an Aquarius full moon. Guess what jumped out of my hands? Signs, symbols, and omens. Let's see what that page landed on. Doo boop boop boop. I guess this is where we're sitting. Sarah Jane. Oh, hey. There's the sun. All right, so. <laughs> Blank page, because the less is still unwritten. All right. So, sit all down. <coughs> We sat like a, well, they sat over here. I kept walking around. I was like, but this is chap Du Bois Du Bois chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution. Wow. They I was one of these. <laughs> Hi. Past self. I love it. All right, so, um, five, five, three, four. I was 33 when this happened, you know, but I brought with me the angel of darkness, the wisdom of the universe, universe, but this is essential truths from the beloved conversation of God trilogy. And why are we here? Peace, love, joy envelope from the mailman my book house the latch key page 260 and 261 Marianne also had an older sister sorrowful days when the two must be separated Aww. all right John Milton was a Puritan. I remember, I've heard this name before. Foreign tongues, and during that time became totally blind. With Cormel's death and the return to the royalists to power, Milton was disgraced and was forced for a time to go into hiding. Huh. He was 1608 to 1674. And a five-year-old boy is on the other page. There's five songs that one of the names. John Ruskin. 1819 to 1900. Huh. That's beautiful. Thank you. I had signs and omens on. I'm just going to show you my phone and it's charged. Oh, yeah. Every moment has a moon. Shine by day and glow by night. I brought the fairies. Oh, E.T. the extraterrestrial. Melvin Morse. Transformed by the light. The powerful effect of near-death experiences on people's lives. I brought Ernest Hemingway. Fail World to Arms. The Terror of the Hidden Realm. And I brought in here. To reflect them back. Uh, 